YouTube. Sully here, DIY Finger Lake Survival. We're gonna go do a little squirrel hunting today. Me, Bubba, and Tim, the other half of the channel, he's finally gonna show up in a video today. So, wearing my wool hunting shirt, which looks like the one string is coming out. Uh, it did come out. There it is. Um, I'm just gonna show you what I got going on today as I fix my shirt. There we go. Wearing my game hide hunting vest. Got a wool blanket shirt, knit cap, back tag, handmade one. I'll let him go over what's in that. We're waiting on Tim, he lives across the street. So we're just gonna I'm gonna show you what I'm carrying today. And I don't know what car you want to leave here, so I just all thing. of it. The whole thing. Uh there's Bubba. I'm just plugging my phone in real quick. Uh well if he doesn't get out here soon enough. Alright, turn that on. Oh wait, I gotta start the car, don't I? There it goes. Make sure that starts. It starts. Yay. Okay. So, if Bubba wants to go over what's in his, he can do that. But what I'm going to be using today is my Mossberg 802 Plinkster bolt action 22 with uh, three mags. I got my. Pathfinder Haversack. We're just waiting for Tim with my Pathfinder water bottle, 24 ounce, by the way, or 32 ounce, 32 ounce water bottle. Oh boy. I got my orange and black, more of basic. We have a candidate driving around. It's boating season. Leather mechanics work gloves. Yeah, I know she is. And then I got my little survival life fishing kit. Two bobbers and that bundle of fat wood that's always in there. Cool. He's finally coming. Huh? I stole some Swedish fish. We'll go over this. If I have, have, have actually need it. Bubba has this cool pistol belt. Bubba, brand new Henry Lever Action 22. Hopefully, he kills a squirrel today. Who finally decided to show up in a video. Say hi, Tim. Hi, guys. What's going on, YouTube? Sully here. DIY Finger Lake Survival. We're out doing a little uh, squirrel hunting on a friend of ours property. Sorry, you can't really see my face. The sun's behind me. We'll get there in a second. But, you know, it's a really cool area. Bubba got a squirrel. The rest of us did not. Okay, get right at the joint. Just be careful. Yeah, don't dig your knife into the rock. I know. Actually, hold on. Do it on this. So, Bubba's first squirrel that he shot himself. So, you want to explain what you're doing? I think you can. Nope, you. You're the one cutting it and cleaning it. Alright. So, don't worry, we can edit out mistakes, okay? Like I can edit out that whole prima donna and him flipping me off thing. So right now I'm cutting the feet off. 
and then the tail. Right at the uh, right at the base here. Yeah. So we don't need to eat that. There you go. All right. Now, now the front feet and the head. Huh? Cut. The front feet. I got fat wood if we need it. And then. All right. So you do this. Right at the joint. Uh, right, right above the ankle. Yeah. So you do this, okay? Just don't move off of that board. I have you centered on that board, okay? The head you're gonna have fun with. Like I said, we can edit it out. Yeah. So but after I cut the head off, only cut the stomach, pull it out, and then and then you you gut it, gut it, pull okay, it all you out. Gut it from the bottom to the top. So bottom top. And then yeah, hold on, sit flat. Tim, using Yuko matches. Yeah, this is definitely gonna have to be edited down. Huh. Thanks. Oh, uh, you wanna put it lengthwise too. You just put it like this. I would say Yuko matches our win. Yuko for the win. <laughs> Tim, finally on the channel. Hi. Oh, come on, I made a fire. And I wish this was actually edible. Yeah. It is edible. Yeah. It's a squirrel. No, I mean, like, if there's anything wrong with, like, cave worms or something. No. Did you see any parasites when you were cleaning it? Anybody say basics suck. I'll cut a tree down with this damn thing. Should probably put out like a rock or something on the bug. I gotta lower that. I'm testing something. No, don't start that now. Tim brought seasonings. For those of you that are familiar with Coal Cracker Bushcraft, this is their seasoning kit. Okay, comes with black pepper, some cayenne, some cinnamon, some garlic powder, some sage, and some sea salt. Comes in this nice tin with the uh, coal cracker bushcraft symbol. Shout out to Dan, Dan Wolwack. I have a little piece of cloth in here to keep it from bouncing around in there. You're each in a little glass vial with a cork top. Love this thing. It's awesome to have. Small, keep it in the happy sack. It's a great thing to have. Gonna have to invest in one. Need you should buy some. They're at Walmart. They're only like eight bucks here. Like seven something for the thing. And you can buy refills fairly cheap. You can also buy the box ones and put them in there. That's the refills. Yeah. The That's what I have. The matches are in that box. That's cool. And you open it up. Got a little ball of cotton for emergencies for a little tender. Extra scratchers. Because this just comes right off, so if this gets wet and ruined, you just get slide extras. off. Yeah, you just lift up oh. right here, and it slides right out. Just got a seal for its waterproofness. If you light these things and bury them, you pick can it up and it really soak them in water. Yeah, soak them in the water. All in this little, little hard plastic yuko case. Totally worth having. 